Hello guys, welcome to Coding Channel and today we're gonna see how to install Kodi on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 desktop version okay so first thing we'll do we're going to click on start and we're gonna type terminal and hit enter so we can open a bash terminal right Okay, so now the first command we'll run is sudo apt.get update and we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna type our password and this first step is for us to make sure that our all our packages are properly updated. It's gonna take a little bit. Right. So now the second command we're going to run here is sudo apt dash get space upgrade. So the first command basically um, updates our repositories and the second one updates our packages. So now that all our packages are properly updated, we're going to run sudo apt dash get install Kodi. And here at Ubuntu 14, we can see that we got an error message saying unable to locate package Kodi. Okay, so depending on the version that we're running, uh, the latest versions of Ubuntu or even Debian version, the new version like Debian 8, Jesse or some may have the code repository already installed by default. But Ubuntu 14 doesn't have, so we have to manually um, install it. So we're going to run first thing will be sudo apt get install software dash properties dash common. Here um, in in this computer that I have, you can see that it's already installed, but not every time again this package comes installed by default. So um, if you if you really have if you really don't have you have to install so just in case we're gonna run it okay now the next the next command that's why we installed software properties common because the command that we're gonna run now which is sudo add dash apt dash repository space ppa column team dash xbmc slash ppa so this command only runs if you have software properties common package installed and this basically we were saying to Ubuntu, hey, add XBMC or Kodi repository to your list. Okay, and then it's going to show us a message and you have to press enter to confirm. Right, so now we're going to run again sudo apt get update. So we're going to update our repositories once again, now with XBMC repository properly configured. And uh, now we're going to run again apt-get install Kodi. It's going to take a little bit. You're going to say yes. And after some time, it has installed. So now, if you go to the start button and you click, and you, sorry, if you type Kodi, you see that there is the Kodi Media Center application. You just click on it and it's going to open Kodi for you. So today um, is July 10th, 2016. So Kodi version 16.1 Jarvis is the latest one we currently have. Actually, version 17 has been just released, but is in still like it's still an alpha version. It's not a final release. So if you use a PDCAT, it's going to start the latest stable release, which currently is version 16. Okay. Now you're going to see that code is up and running. And uh, now we're going to exit the application. I'm going to click here at this button with the power sign. 
and I'm going to select the exit option to return to my operating system. You can see here that there are other options like power off system um, that will literally shut down your computer. Custom shutdown timer, you can say, okay, shut my computer down and after some time you can suspend or reboot your operating system. We're just going to exit the application to return and now we are here, we are back to the, our terminal where we can see that um, everything is fully working. So there is it guys, that is how you install um, Kodi on a Ubuntu desktop environment using the command line. Thanks for watching this video and come back again. Don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel and if you really like this, um, like your just give us a like and also share this video with your friends. Okay. See you later guys. Take care.